The South African Audit Office and law enforcement agencies have begun investigation into the alleged corruption concerning COVID-19 funds. Many South Africans, including the President, expressed concern over the mishandling of the COVID-19 monies meant to support the public as part of efforts to contain the virus. South Africa has been the hardest hit nation in Africa since the outbreak of the novel coronavirus in March, and many are calling for justice. Here is more details of that in this report. Once it became apparent that corruption and fraud was an issue, President Cyril Ramaphosa acted quickly and instructed the country's law enforcement agencies and the Auditor General's office to investigate. A lot of the effort that we put into this on the detection side of things has revealed a number of frightening findings that require to be followed up very quickly so that there is no significant passage of time before the required actions are implemented. The scrutiny and detection work done by the AG's office, which highlighted risks and possible fraud, will now be sent to law enforcement agencies at the Fusion Centre. And we believe that those people have what it takes. They've got the skills, they've got the tools, and they've got the statutory mandate to take those matters that raised our level of suspicion as an audit office to a next level. There's already been action taken against senior government officials. This as a report was released. The entire senior management team at the Unemployment Insurance Fund has been suspended. Most sectors in society want to see rapid action taken against the alleged perpetrators. We've seen very little consequence. We've yet to see anybody go to jail. We've seen very few of the stolen assets being returned. So that is for us is critical. I think that has got to be properly done because I suspect there are millions or hundreds of millions of rands that might be at stake. It's not quantified at, at all in the Auditor General report. But the second thing is, uh, you know, this is an ongoing project and we've got over 800,000 people who have not been paid, some back to April. While the first report was pretty damning, that second report, which is due in November, will probably provide more insight and more ammunition for those who are fighting corruption.